Hey guys, my name is Alan Chaco. I'm from Emmanuel Pentecostal Church of God in Yonkers, and today I want to talk to you guys about building God's kingdom and also about our our mission, our purpose on this planet Earth as Christians. I just want to start off by reading uh, a verse from Acts 20, verse 24, and it goes like this. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. How many of us can say this about the first line? It says that, Paul says, I consider my life worth nothing to me. Usually, we consider our life as the most precious thing. We we want the whole world revolving around us, right? But Paul here humbles, humbles himself down, and he's so worried about building God's kingdom and not building his little empire. We're so concentrated on building our empire in the time we're in because we live in a world where not everyone is a believer. We live in a world where where people we mingle with are not believers. So they're, those people are so concentrated on building their little empire, getting a degree, uh, then after that getting a job, then getting a, a, a car, a house. I'm not saying those are bad things. Those are things that I'm going to be doing too. But, but when you concentrate too much on that, it draws you away from your actual mission that is building God's kingdom. And if you think about the people in the world there uh they're so they're so concentrated in that in that mission of their own success because it gives you a reward right after you do one thing for example when you graduate college you can get a you can get a job right you can, once you get a job you get money and with that money you can buy anything you want a house clothes a car whatever you need so as you can see after each each uh, level you get a reward right after but when you're doing God's work when you're building his kingdom the rewards might not come at all in this world we're living in but it, it will reach you one day and in Revelation it talks about three books and one of the books writes about everything that you do so think with this past week whatever you did good it will go in that book and everything you did bad will also go in that book building God's kingdom is a good thing so it will be something that will go in that book and you will get that reward once you get to heaven and I'm telling you that reward will be so much better than anything anyone can give you in this world so be patient with the reward God will reward you with and a lot of the times we might get jealous because you might see a person who's living a non-Christian life, living, getting their reward and they're living the best life and you're over here building God's kingdom and, and you're, you don't look so happy, but, but just be encouraged by this uh, by this reward that is God that is God God is promising us uh, once we get to heaven be encouraged by that and now look into the fleshly things let's not build our own little empire because every empire that has been built on this earth will be shattered or has been shattered the only empire that will stand is God's kingdom so let's not concentrate on building our little empire to make ourselves number one but build God's kingdom because that's what will actually matter and that's the only thing that will stand at the end of the day.